welcome back to my channel this is Laura today what I'm gonna share with you is how I made these delicious they're a cross between a whoopie pie a cupcake and a, just a plain slice of cake it's a whole lot of goodness going on here and we're gonna cheat today we're actually gonna use box cake mix just to keep it simple but if you look at them they look like if you bought them at the bakery if you are new here welcome if you enjoy my content I sure would appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video don't forget if you like our content give us a big thumbs up and share with family and friends if you're ready to see how I make these delicious treats just keep watching okay guys let's get started okay everybody we are going to start the little uh, miniature cakes here I have a cake mold pan that are little hearts I will try to find this and link it below so what we're gonna do today we're gonna keep it simple we're just gonna use a simple cake box uh, mix I am gonna use the white because I am going to decorate the little cakes later in the video. But we're, all we're going to do is just follow the directions on the box. Okay, so we're just going to add our oil, whatever your cake box requires, our water, and our eggs. I am going to add just a little bit of almond extract and some more vanilla. I just like to doctor them up the way I like them. If you don't want to add more, don't add more. You don't have to. I'm just doing this to add more flavor to the cake. Okay, I got everything mixed up nicely. And what I'm going to do to make it easy for myself to pour, I'm going to pour it into a measuring cup so I can pour it into my pan. It just makes it easier. You don't have to do this step. Okay, let's move that aside. Now let's prepare our pan. This is a non-stick uh, pan, by the way. I am gonna spray them anyway, because I don't wanna have any accidents. Okay, and then I'm just gonna fill them up. Not fill them up completely, because of course they will rise. So you're gonna fill them up about two thirds of the way. And just take your time. Okay, and this is it. I'm gonna pop them in the oven probably for about 15, 20 minutes. I will check them in between, and I'll be back when they're ready. All right, we're back. I pulled these out of the oven. We got these out of the oven, the little cakes out of the oven. They were in there for 20 minutes. Just keep an eye on them. Everybody's oven is different. And I'm popping these out, and I'm putting them to cool on a cooling rack, okay, before we move on to the next step so that they can be ready for us. I do have some over here ready, and I'm gonna tell you the mistake that I made so that you don't go and make this mistake if you order this pan. Don't fill it up as much as I did the first time because they did blow up a little bit too much. These are much, much better, so I would just fill them up a third of the way up and that's it. Just so you know, let me make the mistakes, not you. Okay, I'm gonna let these cool and we're gonna start on the filling for these little cupcakes. Okay, we are moving on to the filling. I, what I did is I divided a bar of cream cheese, an eight ounce box of cream cheese, into two bowls because I'm gonna make two different types of filling. We're gonna start with this one first. And this one, we are going to add some marshmallow cream fluff. This gets kind of sticky. So we're gonna add about half of the can here, maybe a little bit more. Okay, and then we are going to add uh, some juice from the maraschino cherries just to give it the pink color and a little bit of powdered sugar. I will leave the measurements down below. Don't worry about keeping up. Okay, this might need a little bit of whipping cream. And then we're going to give it a mix. On the mixer, I have my hand mixer. I'm only going to use one beater so that I don't have to stop and wash so we can change flavors. Okay, we're just gonna beat this till it's real nice and creamy. Okay, we got the first one nice and mixed up and what we're gonna do to this, we're gonna pop it into the refrigerator and let it set up a little bit and we're gonna move on to the next one. Let's give this a taste. Mmm, delicious. 
Alrighty, on to the next one. We're just going to add in our powdered sugar, the rest of our fluff. Okay, and then on this one, we're going to use the Nutella. And that's about a quarter cup of Nutella. Or any hazelnut spread that you can find in the store. Okay, and now we're going to give this a little mix. We'll put just a little bit of cream in there, not too much. And we're going to beat it till nice and smooth. Okay, now we have this one ready. And we're going to let this sit in the fridge. Make sure everything is mixed up. Sometimes the fluff gets a little stuck to the bottom. We're going to let this hang out in the fridge until we get the ganache ready for the cupcakes. Let's give this a taste. Mmm, delicious. Okay, I'll be right back. We are going to move on to the ganache so we can have it ready. I have a bar of semi-sweet chocolate. All we're going to do is break it into smaller pieces. And I've already warmed up my heavy whipping cream here. It's pretty hot. And we have it. I like to break it up small so that when I pour the milk in there, it melts. Okay, now I'm going to pour the milk in there, the heavy cream. I am going to put in the corn syrup. The corn syrup is what makes it shine. And some flavoring. We're going to use some vanilla. And then we're going to whisk it until completely melted. See how it melts? It starts looking like a big old jumbo mess right now. But as you continue to whisk, you're going to see how the chocolate comes together. See how it just comes together? Okay, and then I'm just going to make sure everything is off the sides and that there's nothing stuck anywhere. And it's pretty liquidy right now, so what we're going to do is we're going to let it hang out in the fridge for about 20 minutes at a time. And then you'll take it out and continue to whisk it, and it will thicken up for you to the consistency that we need. And I will show you that in just a few minutes. Okay, so we have everything. We have the filling, we have our cakes, we have our ganache. I am going to get some sprinkles and stuff together, and we will be back as soon as our ganache is ready. Okay guys, we're back with the little cakes. This is how they look when you before you slice them. There's some that we're going to do different that I'm going to stuff them, like I said, with, with the filling. And then there's some that we're just going to coat with ganache. Now when they come out of the pan, they look like this. I like to flip them over and use this side because this to me looks prettier than this side. So we're going to do those. And then we're going to also stuff the ones with the ganache. These are the bottom. These are the ones that we split in half. And all I do is take a, a serrated knife and slice them in half. And I put them in the freezer for a little bit so that they're easier to handle. And we take our chocolate filling. We're going to do these with chocolate. And I put one scoop. And then you take your offset spatula. Move it out to the sides just like if you were icing the a cake. Okay, so just spread out the filling. And then we're just going to cover them with our with the bottom part. Just like that. Now, if you want to add more, by all means, add more. That's up to you. This filling is delicious. Okay, so there we go. And okay, if you need to spread it out a little bit here on the side, you can. It doesn't matter if they get a little messy. As long as you get some filling. Okay, let's get this out of the way. Now for the ganache. These are the plain ones, so if somebody doesn't like filling or they just want plain uh, cake, this would be a good thing for them. Now all I do is I take the ganache, run it over, I let it get a little thick. Anything that falls to the bottom, we can scrape it up and reuse it. Okay, so once you get them all iced, look at that, how cute that is. Now. I like to put some sprinkles on them and what I do, now you can just sprinkle them on any which way you like if you want to. Like let's do that with one of these. But you have to put the sprinkles on while the ganache is still wet so that they'll stick. Okay, and then I get some cookie cutters that I have and like I'll put it right here in the center and I'll sprinkle some, let's use these same ones. And this way you can make a heart shape. And then you just pop off the, 
and there you go you have a real cute little heart look at that now you don't have to go to that extreme if you don't want to you can just decorate them any which way but i think that would look so cute like these i have some little hearts that we can just add nothing's perfect that's why they're homemade or even some of these white ones I think that's real cute and we'll just drizzle this one a little bit with some of these and there you go look at that how cute that is who's not going to want to sit at the table with some of these and have some of these so then you just let them firm up and the ganache will firm up and then you can plate them individually okay let's go ahead and get started with the pink ones okay and now for the pink ones i did the same thing all I did was slice these in half. I'm going to use the, the top parts is the part that I'm going to put the filling on. Okay, and now before I flip them over, I am going to add the ganache on the top part because I actually want to be able to see the pink on these bottom parts. And now I'm just going to get the bottom and place it on top. You see how you can see the pink? And just clean them up a little bit and then we put some sprinkles, whatever sprinkles you want. Look at how cute that is. Look at that, how scrumptious. And you can see the pink. You can see that these are the pink marshmallow. How pretty. Okay guys, let me clean this up and we'll finish this out and we'll give these a taste. Okay, everybody, these are my delicious treats that I wanted to share with y'all that we can make out of a box cake mix. They're going to think you bought it at the bakery. So let's go ahead and give this a try. I just can't make up my mind which one I want. I think I'm going to go for the Nutella marshmallow one that's over here. Let me take a bite out of that one. Mmm. 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 Mm, delicious guys I'm gonna see if I can bring you in for a close-up so you can see all that chocolatey goodness going on in this cake here what a cute treat to have on your Valentine's Day table guys for the kids the husband the wife anybody they're just gonna love them when they see them and they're really tasty too I will list everything that I use down below the recipe everything that I use items and if you have any questions just pop me a comment and I will get back with you and don't forget to share with family and friends our channel seems to be growing nicely, but we need a little push out there, so I need your help. So please share with family and friends. Okay, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye.